The binomial a plus b, all squared, does not equal a squared plus b squared. As a high school math teacher, it doesn't seem to matter how many times I show my classes algebraically what a plus b squared is equal to. They seem to forget this algebraic explanation, and the most common mistake I see across all of my classes are students telling me that a plus b squared is just equal to a squared plus b squared. So let me help you avoid this mistake by explaining it to you differently. Let's look at this geometrically. And to understand what I'm going to show you, all you have to know is the formula for the area of a square, which is just equal to its side length squared. And for that reason, we could look at all three terms that make up this incorrect equation, and we could interpret them all as being the areas of squares. This a squared would just be the area of a square with the side length of a, and this b squared is just the area of a square with a side length of b. And then a plus b all squared would be the area of a square with a side length of a plus b. So to make a square with a side length of a plus b, let me start with this square, which has a side length of a, and then let me just extend it in all directions by b. So I'll extend it that direction, that direction, and then make it into a square. And to make this as accurate as possible, I'm going to measure off using this square, which has a side length of b. I'll measure off dimensions of b, and then move them to connect them to my square that has a side length of a, and then construct the square. And now I have this big square that has a side length of a plus b. So its entire interior area represents a plus b squared. And in order for this statement to be true, the area of this big square would have to be exactly equal to a squared plus b squared, which means it would be exactly equal to the sum of the areas of this yellow square with side length a plus this green square with the side length of b. So geometrically, this green square's area should fill all of this area here exactly, which obviously it doesn't. You can see when I take this square and move it inside of the bigger square, it doesn't fill all of the area at all. There are clearly these two sections here which have not been filled in. So hopefully this diagram is an obvious representation to you of why a plus b squared, the area of this big square, is not equal to just the area of these two squares. To make this statement true, we would have to add in the area of these two rectangles. And those two rectangles, their dimensions are both b by a, which means both of their areas are both a times b. So to create the correct statement for what a plus b squared is equal to, remember this is just the area of the square with the side length of a plus b. That whole area would be equal to the area of all four of the rectangles I see it's made up of. It's equal to a squared plus b squared plus both of these rectangles that have areas of a, b which means the total area I could write as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And now hopefully after seeing that, you will never make this mistake again. And also hopefully you have a good geometric understanding as to why this equation is true. If you ever go to say it's equal to just a squared plus b squared, hopefully you remember these two rectangles you've forgotten about and you go back and add the middle term. If you're interested in seeing other common math mistakes students in my class make, go watch my top 10 math mistakes video as well. And also go to jensenmath.ca where you can find tons of free math resources to help you with any high school math topic. Jensen